What's up everybody, welcome back to part 16 of Spider-Man Edge of Time. I think we're on the last boss, we're fighting the CEO and anti... no, not anti-venom, atrocity. So let's do this thing. One and, only. one and only, bitch. These fucking tentacles around. Why are you on the wrong side? We need to look out for those holes from before. Don't know if they're gonna come. Why has my game volume got really loud? All I hear is too much. There we go, there we go. Get back. You didn't, you didn't invent shit. You can't win, you know. Yes, I can. I can win. Because you suck, CEO. It to come down to this. So what I, do you think I've got to get him to like them to hit him? I'm the one in game here. Something. One, two. I declare a spider Come on, tentacles, hit him! You can't win, you know. I've got to, like, put the decoy here or something. <clears throat> I that. Yeah, the tentacle knows where I am. Oh, he's down. Yeah, we have got to get the tentacles to hit him. I don't know how we're supposed to get him. We're supposed to just get him to go near him. I have a century more experience. Come on, hit him! Yeah! What's up, CEO, bitch? Oh, you get down again. That's right. Sit down. I just need to get him to stand next to him and shoot the tent from side. He's getting up. Oh, he was quick there. Get that to stand there, get him to come over to him. Shoot that tentacle. Oh. Back as amazing Spider-Man for the wind. He hasn't got any tentacles in him. So what now? We gotta throw shit oh we gotta throw shit out blatantly. I hate to hit someone who is so harmless, but I hate the thought of just punching you in the face. There's no imagination, <laughs> no elegance, no Oh heck I'm going. Oh he smashed it, shit. We need more debris. Can I have more debris, please? There's one over there. You ain't hit me, bitch. There's nothing to throw at me. Hmm. Ah! Leave me alone. There's something to throw at this one. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, guys. I'm confused. You know the whole face punching thing? Come on! Well, more fun for me than you! Oh! <laughs> Did it! Miguel, it's over! I thought it was over! He thinks it's over, doesn't he? Don't see any fat lady singing though. Miguel, it's still out of control. You need to lock it down on your end. And if you do, actually, I don't know. What happens if you do? Then the backlash should collapse the quantum bridge and overwrite all of this, wiping it from existence. And don't say if. I can still take the CEO. His armor's starting to overheat. He can't control the energy, just as I think. Okay. Well, that was close. So I'm back on the CEO, bitch. Time storm has reached the ideal level for harvesting the quantum particles, which is a fancy way of saying it's over. Yeah. There's no way you can pull this off. You're bluffing, Parker. Oh. Uh, I am. The, not you, Parker. The other Parker. Keep telling yourself that if it makes you feel better. Uh huh. So a minute ago we like fellow. So I'm guessing we've got to do that again. You 
didn't invent shit, you ain't got smooth. This is really shit. Um Why are you on the wrong side? I have Oh shit. Yes, you are. I'm just focused. Hey, what's going on? Well, the century's worth of guilt has made you nuts, and you're trying to kill me using weapons powered by quantum energy. Um, I'm a confused. You can't wait. The first thing I'm going to do with my control time is wipe this entire fight out of existence retroactively. The only thing that's going to be wiped is the floor with you. Ah. Find a way to hurt the CEO. Okay. I'm the one and only. Time paradox. Get out of here, fucking CEO bitch. Missing. Oh shit. One and only my axe, my foot. Fucking douchebag. He's getting pretty hard though, isn't he? He's got very little life left. Oh, he's nearly dead, guys. Okay, he's going back up there, so... I think we have to climb, like... The, uh... How do I... Why don't we get up there? I'm gonna have to climb like the debris and get to him, but it won't let me. Let's get my health back quickly. Uh huh. He ain't ready for us. I can't take his last little bit of life. He's going back up there though. See, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure we gotta climb the debris here. I can't. It won't let me do it. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Climb the debris, Spider-Man. Still can't, I can't hit him. What is up there? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Going back up there. Look, so. Oh shit. Give me my health back, please. Get back up there. See again, like, like he goes up there, and then, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure we got to use the debris. Just won't let me though. Unless we have to like throw him at him or something. Let's <coughs> get back up there. His life seems to get less and less every time. annoying me. Come on. Just die now. Oh, 
Uh, oh, that guy. Oh. Repeatedly press B. It's just wipe you out of existence entirely. Yeah, yeah. It. It's it's all back to normal. Same here. Okay, but if the timeline snapped back to normal, if none of it happened, how do you and I remember it? I mean, we've got two different sets of memories in our brains. Shouldn't that be making us, I don't know, crazy? <laughs> crazy? We already dress in skin-tight costumes and fight bad guys for free. Okay, crazy er. You really want a five-hour lecture on temporal paradoxes? Sure, why not? As it turns out, looks like I have all the time in the world. Yeah, yo. Yeah. So, game over? Oh, okay. So, um, you guys, a lot of you guys probably already know how I do things here. I let the credits play. Have a little chat with you guys with what's next and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Well, uh, actually, the first major theoretical studies were done by Reed Richards, which, since you know personally, is rather ironic. That's not really ironic. Conversation. That's just coincidental. Irony is something completely different. You're correcting my word use now? Is that what it's come to? No harm in being accurate. Okay, fine. Coincidentally, Reed Richards did the first studies, which hypothesized that time is like a vortex. And when major changes occur in the surrounding vortex, anyone who is dead center of the disruption can observe them without being affected. Like being in the eye of a storm. He called it the observer effect. It sounds kind of dry. Ooh, how about Armageddon syndrome? How about Armageddon out of here? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Bad puns, totally my thing. <laughs> you don't own puns. They're not your thing. <laughs> They're a thing. Well, maybe if you would just explain it right. You're from the future. You're supposed to have all these cool time things. Maybe you should just talk faster. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is going to take way longer than five hours. <laughs> So I think they probably might come back in and start talking again into that. But um, yeah, uh, it's been a pretty good game. I mean, it's quite short to be fair. I think what, it's like 16, 15, 16 parts or something like that. So yeah, it's kind of short, but um, it's a good game. Um, <clears throat> uh, it was kind of just pretty, you know, arcadey sort of beat 'em up shit. But it's not, as I said, it's not a crap game. It's all right. But um, yeah. So next on the agenda is Never Dead. I think that's coming on the 31st. So. I'm going to let this play for leave, leave these credits, get, give these guys their juice. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links are below if you'd like to follow me on Twitter. If you'd like to buy this game for a little bit less than retail price, you can do so from the description. So yeah, thanks again very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're doing. And until next time, take it easy.